Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how you can delete product using View Firebase. So in the previous video, we learned uh, how to configure our real-time database. And in this video, we will add a delete button as well as an uh, update button to do some modification for our release here. Also, we are going to use the Suite Alice 2. Here is the example. In the, the CRUD which we um, discussed in the previous videos, we just did some basic alert option here, but in this video, I'm going to use the switch alert, which is very nice for deleting. For example, if you use on, if you click on any product, it is going to ask, are you sure? Either you cancel it or you deleted it, which is going to delete data. And this is just an uh, example of the switch alert, which I have used in most of my projects. So here is the list of products we have. By saying this is a real-time database, let me show you one of the example. You have your data here. If you bring any changes in the database, it will automatically change it here without refreshing the page. It means anyone who uses your application who is currently opening it will get those changes. So let's bring a little changes for the random one. Here is the random product we have here. Uh, of course, we will add some more fields for now. This is just for testing. And I, I will say update it. And you press enter. It will update it. You come here. Yes. In a second, you, you will see update here. So it was a real-time database. Now, if you delete it, again, it will delete the data from here. That is the magic of View Fire Store, which we discussed in the previous video. So you I highly recommend you to use the View Fire Store in your application. So let's work on the delete one. In the Modify tab, I am going to add uh, two button here for deleting. So I will come to the source directory. Here in our view, we have the product here. So coming to product, let's just scroll up a little bit. Here is our table. We have the first ID for the name and the second one should be for the price. Of course, this is not the ideal way. We will slowly customize our application and build some more feature for this one. For example, if you add product, there should be a WYSIWYG editor, also image upload and tag tagging and stuff like that, which we will discuss in the future videos. For now, if I come here, instead of the product name, we will have product price here. And I will add one more TD for table data here. And here I will have two button. Again, I will use the button that btn and then btn hyphen primary. Now this is going to be edit and the other one is going to be delete. So for the delete one, of course, we are going to use the danger class and we save it. I will come to my application here and we will refresh the page here if i refresh it it should display the buttons here so i will come here yeah you have seen the delete and edit button here so we will work on the delete one in this video so here i will bind a click event to delete let's say it is going to call the delete product function and the delete product is of course going to accept the the product ID for now if I come here I think we have already a product delete product function here so we are going to use this one of course we pass the document here and we will do that now so for now if I come here I'm going to use the suite alert so before we use suite alert we have to install it how you do that one I will go through the documentation from the beginning so in the installation you are going to use the npm of course I will copy this one coming to the editor press ctrl tilde to open the terminal and press save and we will use the save dev command so it will save that in our development environment and now it is going to download it and it will take a few seconds it is done now i am going to uh, add that in the main.js so we will come here if you go to the documentation the way they say all you have to do is import it if you are using ES6, which we are using ES6. If you are using CommonJS, you can uh, run the required one. So you can put it anywhere where I should add it. I will add it all the way up here. So first we import it and we then we can assign it to the window object so that we can have access it anywhere in our application. If you say window uh, with all small caps you say window is equal to and now you just write your variable name here now you will have access this to anywhere in your application so i will save it for now and let's test if it is working just fine so we will come to the examples we have seen here go to the example scroll down 
and this is the example we are interested in so I'm going to copy this one this line of code from here and I will use that in the delete product function here here is our delete product function so I will paste it here and let's see if it is working just fine so it should so far it is going to just ask you the question are you sure do you want to delete something and if you save it for now coming to your application let's see if it if it works you click on the delete yes it is asking are you sure you want to delete something or are you sure you can of course customize you can change all the settings here the color and all the options and once you do that one it is going to fire another alert and it will tell you that the data has been deleted so if I come here click on the delete yes it's done it but before we do that one here is what they are going to ask they are going to ask if the result of the alert is going to be success which are going to ask here then they are going to run this comment here before they run the comment what I am going to do is I am going to send an Ajax request to the server and delete data in the Firebase so before we do that I am going to send the product ID that we are going to delete so here our delete product is going to accept a parameter called the document or the document which we are going to delete so here if I come and check out the table we have not passed anything so if I come to my application let's see if you have access to the product ID when we are using the testing with the CRUD we didn't have access so it was a little difficult so if I debug it and coming to view tab going to product here is all the product we have this is an array of product and there are objects inside the object we have access to the key here so let's see how you can access to this one if I come to my code here you have access to product.price which is going to be the price of the product for example here you have name you have price maybe you have access to the key also so how you are going to access that to display it here if you come here and say the product dot key is this going to send you the key or not so you save it for now and let's see if it works you come all the way down there again to your function if it was successful let's say just console oops not constructor console dot lock the doc the doc should be the id of the document if we are doing it correctly so i will come again here it refresh the document here you click on the delete if you confirm it you will come to the console and you will see undefined here it means this is not the correct way of sending your id to the function here if i scroll up here so this is not how you are going to get the id so if i go uh, back to the console view here if you check out the product again going to the object here here for the key you have a dot here if you want to access this one you can use the array method here so how you do that one instead of using the product you can just say product inside the bracket you can say key or what you can do is you can pass the whole product here in your function and later if you scroll down coming to delete product here is the delete product you can say document and here you can say key if you save it for now and coming to your application here going to the console and let's see if it is going to work this one you click on the delete yes and it's still undefined so if I go ch check out the code here we forgot to put the dot here so if you save it this time coming to our application this time if I click on the delete and if you cancel it nothing will happen if you click on the delete and say yes it is going to output the ID of the document you have here now if you have access to the id you are going to delete the data in the database so let's see how you can do that using view file store and you will come to the example in the doc they do not have a very long documentation the easiest way is to just refer to this here and this is how you do that one you just copy this code and you are going to use it here i will explain how it is going to work this dot file store is going to refer to the file store function you have here and it will refer to the product and the collection you have here and if I scroll down it is going to where is the delete yeah here is the delete instead of the person of course we have the product and you are going to take the document the doc here or the documents and here is how you pass where you pass the ID of the document you will say doc or document dot key 
and it is going to delete that and it is going to work just fine now if I save it coming to the uh, to our app here everything should work just fine and let's see if it can del delete the random data here here is the data we have here you click on the delete yes and it's successful okay you come here yes it was deleted that is that much simple you click on the delete if you cancel it it is not going to do anything because we have here if it was successful it is going to check for the value if it, it was true then it is going to run this so that's why if you click in the time you cancel it nothing happened if you click on the time and you delete it it will show the delete option here so that is the basic example of using the sweet alice and deleting data from firestore uh, I personally like using the another option in the suite alert if you want to just continue the video you you have something called toast Here the toast is very nice. I like using this How it is going to work is you can completely customize it change the color any way you want if you click on this one You will have a little notification here What I can do is instead of finding it like this uh, if you check out once again you delete something and you press yes delete it it is going to give you this model here you press ok then it is going to fade up i don't want to display that one so instead i am going to remove this instead of this one i am going to use the toast one here so how you use this one first you have to register this one and then you have to use it like this again i am going to register this in our main.js you have here and this is the general style like now you can use the toast in your application you can completely design it here if you check out the suite alert documentation uh, under the integration and customization but for now that looks just fine so how you use it you will just copy this line toast.fire and it is going to give you a little notification in the right hand side of your application because we have set the position at the top end of the website so it is not going to be here so you cut it save your file coming to our product and now here after you delete it it should fire the toast function here and this time let's delete the product and see if it works just fine okay you refresh the page i don't know why it is not loading yeah it works just fine now so let's delete some of the data you have here let's say we delete this extra information you click on the delete yes you delete that one after you delete you okay, it, it cannot read the toast here so the reason is if you come to the code so coming to the main.js we have registered this one but we didn't assign it to the window variable that's why we do not have access to this so again you can write window that toast is equal to the toast now you have access to the toast anywhere in your application so of course you are going to use that many times so you have to assign it in the window variable now if i come to the code here this time it should work just fine you can delete let's say paybook 2 our test you can click on the delete yes it delete and it will show you a little notification here sign in successfully is not the message you are going to display we can write delete it successfully that's it uh, for this video i hope it has been informative and in the next video we will continue working on our project and we will customize it more so I hope it has been informative. Thank you for watching.